Hi guys, this is going to be a pretty informal discussion. I don't have time to script anything and uh, I just don't have a lot of time in general. But I've been meaning to talk about something for quite a while, namely the pathology of female uh, projection, psychological projection, uh, projection bias, if you will. And normally I like to uh, make recourse to uh, evolutionary psychology and talk about the past, but as this is an informal video, I'm just going to be talking about uh, the present psychological projection, modern psychology. So what exactly is uh, psychological projection? Well, usually it's um, a form of defense mechanism when a person feels that uh, attributes or ideas or perhaps even actions on his or her part are undesirable, that person will project uh, those negative qualities out on, onto someone else, attributing those qualities to the other person in an effort to avoid shame or feeling bad about oneself, something along those lines. That's usually how projection works. And uh, if you look at the way the human female interacts with the male, it's quite interesting because from a purely modern point of view, or rather a, a, an isolated perspective, independent of evolutionary psychology and our evolution, it's quite fascinating to observe that the vast majority of traits uh, desired in a male by a female are traits that the female herself uh, almost in her entirety lacks, or it could be actions. Let's start with commitment. Now we all know, and we've heard it very often, that men are so-called commitment phobes. Uh, they don't want to enter in relationships, they don't want to bind themselves to anyone. But, uh, as we know by now, we know very, very well by now, uh, there is a vast amount, mountains of evidence to suggest quite the opposite, that women are the commitment phobes. We see this in divorce rates, we see this uh, in their uh, higher uh, frequency of cheating and so on and so forth. Uh, so it, it's very interesting that the female, when we actually look at the evidence, it accuses men of uh, being commitment folks. We know, for example, that men are much more willing to forego sexual variety, which is the male preference, uh, in an effort to maintain a committed relationship. Women don't really know what commitment is or they when a woman talks about commitment they mean commitment for the time being until she finds something better when man talks about commitment it's a big deal uh, I think that's part of the, the nature of this particular psychological projection on the part of the female uh, females being uh, pretty solipsistic and only can only can think from from their own perspective so if a male is truly weighing the pros and cons of a commitment, long-term marriage, something along those lines, he really is thinking about long-term, till death do we part and all that uh, jazz. The female, on the other hand, never thinks long. She thinks, well, until I find something better, at least on a subconscious level. And I think that's the origin, or one of the origins of this whole, oh, he's a commitment phobe. Uh, but it is very interesting because we do have the data, we have uh, statistics, evidence that suggests quite the opposite, that women are the commitment phobes, not men. Uh, and uh, it's just one of a long list of uh, psychological projections, in my observation, that, uh, fe that the female projects onto the male. What about uh, weakness? Now, if there's anything that women hate, uh, in, in a man, there's anything. It's it's got to be weakness. Women despise a weakness in men, uh, not weak men per se, but displays of weakness, uh, fallibility. Women hate that, and why? Well, uh, are women themselves particularly strong? No. Much of this, what women desire, is just seems to be a kind of mirror reflection of what they themselves lack, and. It seems to me that when a female encounters, say, weakness in a, in, a, in a male, that 
she is looking at the reflection in the mirror and that causes her great feelings of shame that's one of the reasons why they despise weakness uh, it's it's a, a self-reflection uh, in essence they see that they see their own weakness when a, when a male displays weakness of course men in general as we know don't have any right to be weak or to fail or to falter uh, that would mean that they were human beings and since men are human doings automatons machines of labor beasts of burden uh, they're not allowed to show any weakness or have any weakness for that matter that's part of the bigger picture but on, on, a, on a microcosmic scale on a microscopic scale I, I really do believe that the female uh, sees such qualities as weakness in, in, in men as a reflection of herself and she just simply doesn't have the capacity to come to terms with that that's why she despises it so much that's why she really hates weakness in men can't stand women can't stand weakness in men they can't stand weak men in general same thing with security uh, women want to feel secure and one of the reasons why is because they're so, so riddled with insecurity. If a man, you know, God forbid a man feels insecurity, some uh, momentary, uh, momentary faltering where he has doubts about his ability to complete a task, that will be held against him, of course. He's not allowed to feel that uh, feeling, have that feeling of insecurity. The female, on the other hand, I mean, that females are just riddled from the very essence, in the very essence, with insecurity. Another projection, another self, ref uh, a mirror reflection of what they themselves lack, and uh, of course, it's 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 criticized in men uh, when they when they show that. And men, being human beings in actuality, will occasionally feel insecure about certain things. Uh, and and the list goes on and on. It's it's not. Uh, I mean, the, the you could list twenty other things, but the, the point is that all the desi the desirable attributes in a male, those attributes desired by a female in a male, they they really amount to. Uh, a kind of psychological projection, projection bias, a defense mechanism on the part of the female not to face her own weaknesses, her own insecurities, her own lack of commitment. Uh, it, it, it's, it's just fascinating to me that, uh, and so patently obvious in so many ways, that that's really what's going on on an on a interpersonal basic level. Women don't like to be reminded of what they themselves lack. Of course, it doesn't help that the society and the world around us uh, caters to that. Uh, men, generally speaking, do possess these qualities in greater abundance than females. But uh, those are uh, hard won, those qualities. They're, you have to fight for them. Uh, we as men we are not infallible we do fail and make mistakes um, and perhaps we have greater feelings of security and perhaps we are well, less weak or not as weak as women are but uh, we have to struggle to attain that of course women are not don't have to struggle for anything uh, the the world is essentially lies at their feet and is willing to accommodate their every wish but I say this and I mention this because uh, should you ever, for whatever reason, uh, end up in a conversation with a, uh, <laughs> with a female about these things, I think it could be quite on point to ask that female, uh, quite simply, well, why do you require that he be uh, completely sure of himself and uh, never show any weakness when you yourself are completely unsure of yourself and are just chock-a-block full of weakness. Uh, I, th I think if you do happen to have one of these odd conversations, uh, which has happened to me on occasion with uh, well, work colleagues of all things, it could be uh, an interesting conversation with interesting results, to say the least. But yeah, I just wanted to ma mention this. It's it's quite interesting that all the qualities, and, and patently obvious uh, for that matter as well, that men 
that sorry that women seek in, in, in men are qualities they themselves lack, which of course makes sense, but uh, the, the the level of um, contempt they have for any man who displays any doubts, any weakness, any failings, it's it's rather it's rather incredible. Uh, never mind the fact that the, the, it's laughable when they talk about commitment. We all know how committed women are. Women are, of course, committed to themselves. They're not very much committed to relationships or the men in those relationships. Uh, and it, those of you who watch my uh, video on lesbian relationships, uh, women aren't even committed to other women in, in same-sex relationships. So I don't uh, mem remember. The divorce rate doubles when two women are involved. Doubles what the heterosexual rate is. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to make a brief informal video on that, just uh, something, food for thought, and in case you do ever have an encounter, it's something to think about and something you might want to mention, uh, that uh, everything with regards to the qualities women seek in men is essentially self-projection, uh, self kind of, uh, it's just a defense mechanism, and uh, <laughs> yes, they hate, 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 hate being reminded of that. Uh, they love uh, they love shooting down men who may occasionally display some of these qualities that they, them, that they themselves are so full of. Um, but uh, try to remind them the next time. Could have some interesting results there. Anyway, uh, I have to uh, take off now. And like I said, didn't have a lot of time. And by the way, uh, I, I, my real life is quite turbulent these days. I don't have time to make very frequent whip videos um, but they will be forthcoming and uh, I'm hoping I, it's a rough guesstimate maybe in a month's time that I'll be able to be more productive with regards to videos again but uh, that's just a really haphazard guess so anyway but thanks for bearing with me and uh, let me just say finally that I always appreciate the support I receive on this channel. I mean, in terms of comments and and views, and uh, I really feel uh, because of some of the comments and messages I have received that I'm uh, doing something good for the benefit of uh, men, s individual men. That is my goal, and I'll reaffirm that. I mean, this channel is all about helping individual men and that's really what I care about at the end of the day uh, I, I, I still believe that if we are going to smash the system and change things it's going to happen on an individual basis the less men buy into relationships and marriage and all the, the rest of the nonsense the less cannon fodder there is, less meat there is for the meat grinder um, the legal stuff well you know, it's all well and good but at the end of the day I do believe that the system is irrevocably, irretrievably broken, and because of that, I don't think I don't think there's much that can be done, except as a, on a microscopic level, men going their own way, uh, refusing to enter into to marriage and possibly relationships. Uh, that will deprive women of their means of exploitation, but also the state of its means of exploitation. Uh, in the long run. Well, it could have some pretty disastrous effects, but we're heading there anyway, regardless. And more and more men are waking up. You know, I, I, I'm fortunate in my, my uh, gaming. And I talk to guys from all over the world, and uh, Australia, you know, France, uh, Asia, and uh, South America. And, and men are waking up. Men, they don't even know about the men's rights movement. They don't even know about my channel. But they are waking up one by one and uh, they're making their own observations and they're coming to astoundingly similar uh, conclusions. Of course, it, it shouldn't shock anyone. I mean, the things we talk about, the observations that we make, uh, they're generally based on female universal or female universal behavior. It's not surprising. Um, and that's very encouraging to know that there are other men out there uh, that, uh, that are waking up without even you know, having to sort of unplug themselves from the matrix as it were. So that's good. Anyway, uh, yeah, I do have to go, but uh, thanks for the watch, and uh, I'll see you guys hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Everyone take care, and uh, I really do appreciate all of you, and I uh, wish you all the best. Bye-bye.